Well, we are now just 12 days away from the November election. One race on the ballot will be for County Supervisor District 2. Joining us now, one of the candidates vying for that seat, Poway Mayor Steve Voss. Good morning, Mayor Voss. Good morning, Lauren. Only 281 hours. <laughs> Not that I'm counting. <laughs> Not that you're counting at all. I said, you know, there's a light at the end of the tunnel and, and we're almost there. Uh, but this is one of those interesting races and a rare race in San Diego where we're seeing two Republicans uh, going up against each other and we talked of course with your opponent yesterday and you got a big endorsement from the San Diego Union Tribune today. Talk about the differences between the, the two of you since you're both Republican. You know I've got a track record. Uh, you look at Poway or the safest city in the county or ranked number one to raise a family. We've got the best roads. We protect private property rights. We get government out of the way in Poway. I'm proud of that. My opponent, on the other hand, brags about writing bills and passing laws. I don't want more laws. I want government out of the way, and that's what I'm going there to do. Yeah, of course, when, when talking about differences, uh, uh, former state Senator Joel Anderson has said that he worked across the aisle many times. That's what he's been touting and that he has the endorsement of the San Diego uh, County uh, Republican Party. What what do you have to say about working across the aisle and, and make, making sure to get things done? Because as you are well aware, the the supervisors, uh, the, uh, the polit politics there has, has changed and it's quite contentious now. It is. It's, you know, I'm really proud that I'm supported by Supervisor Jim Desmond, who's doing incredible work at the county now, Supervisor Gaspar, and the incumbent, Diane Jacob. Uh, but I've got a track record of getting people together to get things done. At Sandag, I brought Democrats and Republicans together to get $93 million of funding to start the work, to, to jumpstart the 67 expansion that's been promised for years, the 52 expansion, finish the 94-125. So it's not just talk, I get things done. You know, I was uh, online yesterday uh, looking over uh, some things and I came across a post from uh, Mayor Bill Wells of El Cajon and it, it was a, a long post and really quite eye-opening for me since not being in the district. I haven't seen uh, any of these mailers, but he talked about the difficulty in this race being friends with the two of you, but giving you an endorsement uh, early on because he just thought you were the right person for the job, but was going to kind of sit back and let the race take its course since he was friendly with both of you, but that he received some mailers uh, that he just found to uh, be what he calls absolute lies about you uh, from the other side. I don't know who paid for the mail but do you care to respond to, to some of the accusations now that this seems to be getting to be a kind of an ugly race? You know, I just, I consider the source. Those mailers were from my opponent, but I, I consider the source. He has a history of illegal and unethical behavior. Going back a few years, he got busted for illegally funneling money into his campaign. It cost him $170,000. He's left tens of thousands of dollars of tax liens in the wake of his business. I'm an award-winning business owner. Uh, just a year and a half ago, he got in trouble in the Capitol again for making violent threats against a young black woman who worked in the Capitol. So I'm not surprised by anything that he says. He's desperate. Uh, I'm going to run on my track record and proud to have the support that I do. And so you're you're saying that the claims of him, him claiming that you've uh, cheated the IRS and money from the Children's Hospital because you, you throw a fundraiser everyone's well aware of every year, um, absolute uh, lies. Absolute lies. Uh, you know, I've raised over a million dollars for Rady Children's Hospital and other charities serving children. That lie is particularly despicable. I started that concert to honor my little sister who died in a children's hospital. All somebody needs to do is call children's hospital and ask what I've done for them over the years. I think that would put that to bed. But this is just proof again that he is, you know, a, a Sacramento swamp creature that will do anything to stay in office. I'm gonna run on my track record, my record in the community. I look back 544 days ago to how I pulled my community together in the wake of the shooting at the Chabad I think I have the trust of people. So, Mayor Voss, if, if you're elected to District 2, what will be your priorities? 
public safety is always going to be number one. I'm, I'm delighted to be endorsed and honored to be endorsed by every law enforcement agency in the district. That's because they know I'm going to stand shoulder to shoulder with them and give them tools and training that they need to get their jobs done. Also endorsed by CAL FIRE. The work they do this time of year and now, the wildfire season is year round. I'm, I'm proud to have their endorsement. The endorsement of, of many others uh, in political office, community leaders, uh, but public safety is always going to be number one. We've got to do something about homeless. That's going to take funding for mental health treatment and for substance abuse treatment. Uh, and we've got to get the government out of the way so we can build housing more affordably. All right, Mayor Voss, uh, <laughs> we're almost there. Uh, so thank you for taking the time uh, to meet with us. Uh, both you and uh, former State Senator Joel Anderson are going for the District 2 seat for the County Board of Supervisors. Mayor Voss, thank you for your time this morning.